why do I still have a 250cc scooter? If you remember, this is a Yamaha XCT250. Not many of these around in the UK. Not many of them around in the UK. You've got the X Max and the 300 cc's, loads of them. But this one has enough power to get you around. I've been to London and back on this bike. NCN motorcycle show. Did some photos a few years ago. I took this bike. I had to fill up twice on the way there and twice on the way back. I tell you that much. So <laughs> there's not a big tank on there, range wise. It's more designed for local riding. However, it can be done. I've done it. I did motorways and side roads. You might see that video on my channel actually. This one is a 250cc. It's got a Ginelli exhaust. This is a live video for you today. I will literally be updating this straight after this recording. And it's like, you know, it's not the best condition bike. It could be better. It's been down in the snow. Because I used to take this to work. So in the snow it started a bit of a slide. And yes, I did ride it in the snow. When I used to ride the 125cc, it used to be all weather riding. All season riding. All I've done right now is um, just checking it over. And there has been a slight issue because it's been parked up for about 6 months, 7 months. The battery is dead. So I have the battery on charge at the moment inside. I'll show you that. So right now you can see there, the battery is on charge. Optimate 3 and you may also remember this project I had a certain amount of money I could spend on this bike CB250 I spent all the money and we've done a number of videos about it restoring it there's still some work to be done so keep tuned I may decide to do something with this but yeah I haven't decided yet so back to the 250cc what is actually going on here well I've noticed the stand is a bit rusty and it doesn't come down smooth so I'm going to take this off I'm going to sand it down, repaint it it was a fairly difficult thing to take out so what happens is you have this bolt and it goes in through here there's like a re little retaining washer on the other end so I take the retaining washer off hammer that side take it out and then it dropped off the bottom of the bike and yeah so this bike I've had a fair few years you can see on the channel every year I take it out it's a bit rusty it's got a Ginelli exhaust sounds nice it's got good speed it does highways and yeah I put the screen back on I took the screen off last summer but at the moment it's still a bit cold so we're not really ready for the full summer riding so why should you get a 250cc scooter well 250 300 one to five even in some cases it depends what you're using the bike for if you're doing some type of commuting you won't find anything better it does very nicely it's got good range for local riding I could do like a week or two weeks with a full tank whereas an R6 I'll have a tank and I'll get rid of that in one day because you want to obviously blip it and throttle it and that uses more fuel so in terms of pricing and fuel it's good last thing we think about is pricing on fuel on bikes to be honest because you want it for fun so there are plans to maybe get another bike but at the moment i don't think i need to because whenever i come to this moment in time we all do it just before summer let's have a quick look on the gum tree the facebook see what's going on auto trader are there any good bikes what bike should i upgrade to it's like a never-ending cycle every year you want a newer bike to get bored of the old one but this one I've had for a number of years and we keep coming back to it because every time I pull it out have a quick look around it I'm like you know what it's a 250cc scooter does it need anything else what will I be where will I be going this year I'm not really doing any big long touring or going to Wales or anything like that it's all local riding it's a couple of key spots we do every year and they're no more than like an hour away and the scooter of this range 250cc works nicely jump on b roads a roads a couple of side roads is nimble enough to do a nice suave swear swe swe whatever you call it brake discs are okay it's a big bike 
for a scooter. You have road presence. It's heavy enough to maintain its presence on the road. It's got storage, which is the main thing, because when we get to our destination, you know I do two up riding on this as well. Yes, I do. 250cc. You may have lots of people tell you that you can't do two up riding, but you can. What's going on here? Hey! What's he focusing on? Make sure to check out his channel, Max Labsky. He has his own YouTube channel. He's a celebrity. Back to the bike. So, what was I saying? Bike. Yeah, you don't need another bike. I forgot what I was saying about the bike. I had a key moment. So you can park the bike up wherever you need to when you get to your destination. Put your helmet in the top box and have casual shoes on. I've got casual motorcycle boots which are doing quite nicely. Aviator something? Falcon Aviators? Remember I did a video on those? Check those out. They're like a nice and uh, jeans as well and they you can basically jump off wherever you need to jump off put the scooter to one side because it's a scooter you can put it in the motorcycle bays and most of the time you don't need to park, pay for parking so you can go to different town centers check out loads of villages around the UK that are not too far you can go to a number of villages village as in like Warwick and like the castle and all those types of surrounding areas Ludlow and loads of areas Stafford upon Avon and you've got a scooter so you can just not worry you don't have to carry your helmet around you don't have to worry about leathers well realistically you should still dress correctly for a scooter because if you fall you're falling on the same floor realistically and this is a 250cc scooter if you haven't got one consider one people may think it's not a motorcycle mm, at the moment a lot of people are riding scooters why not get yourself a scooter? Let me quickly show you the benefits of a scooter. So I've got the key there. With the scooter, you've got most things you need for an old scooter. I've got temperature, I've got miles, I've got fuel. Some motorcycles don't have fuel. I've got a phone holder. Down here you have a little storage and a USB power, which I added on myself. So you can add some extra stuff in there. If you have some bags or baggage, you can hook the bags onto here and they can stay in between your legs. The fuel goes in here. And then you've got under seat storage. Good seat, double seat. You can see that. You can just kind of cushion up against there. You can have passing in the back. You've got four pegs. And then, hey, come here. He's chasing cats. So you've got the underseat storage there. It's quite a good setup. You can put a jacket in there. I've got gloves already down there and a couple of locks. That's another thing. Secure it because a lot of people steal these with the aim of stealing other bikes. So what happens is they'll steal a scooter of this size because it's easier to steal. They'll have their body in the back. They'll go up to an expensive bike on a stolen bike, steal the expensive bike, use their foot to push it along with a scooter like this because they are quite this is a one cylinder so it's quite powerful in terms of like uh, spaceage picking up let me quickly show you the top box I don't have anything in the top box I'll, I'll show you it just so you can so here's the top box two helmets fit into here comfortably and if you ever want to go somewhere where you're not planning to stop and you don't want a big top box you can just un un unplug the box and then all you've got is that little bit of a spoiler thing in the back and then the box is here so to recap there get yourself a 250cc scooter check out some of my old videos I've done quite a bit of not restoration but maintenance on this scooter brake pads, oil, that kind of thing I may do an oil change again this time, just to keep it fresh. But well, I need to really, every year realistically. Hopefully you found that useful. <whistles> Matt? Come here. Good boy. Okay, okay. See you next time.